Hey everyone, welcome back to Be Terrific. I'm Andrea Fasano, streaming live here from Photo Plus Expo 2015. Joining me now is Ryan Callis, Director of Product Development for Triad Orbit. Welcome. Thank you. Thank very you much. so much for joining Thanks us on the for show. Me. This is great. Now I met Ryan just a few nights ago um, at Preview Night, Tech yep. Night, yep. before the show started at Photo Plus here, and I was so impressed by your product and what it does. And you've got to show the audience and viewers at home um, what you do, why you're here. To, happy to. Um, well, everyone got sick of light stands and mic stands and any sort of media stand. Uh, so we really took uh, a look at it and reinvented it from the ground up. So I like to start with a, a guinea pig, if you will. Yes, Just sh that's why I'm here. How heavy is that? Wow, it's pretty heavy. That's heavy. So we have the weight of a C-stand in a small tripod that breaks down this small. I just release the legs with my thumb, release the clutch, and now I've got a tripod but again, a smaller footprint than a C-stand. Yes. C-stands need a Much lot of space. Smaller. So um, it's three clutched. I can move this up. And one thing that this does that no other stand does, I put my foot at the end and this, Look at that. this articulates. So there's a, if, if you were a singer, there's a boomless front line oh. right there. Mariah it's Carey, beautiful. Guys. So each leg has that ability to articulate. I could put this on a stairway, on uneven surfaces, anywhere I'd like it to be, reduce the footprint by even more, and be able to stack it around obstacles. Look at that. Anywhere you want to go, this stand can go, and because of its weight, it's not going to move, it's not going to fall. So you're not worried about it. So with the touch of a foot. that That's insane, I don't understand. So can I test that? Look at this. You bet, slide this with your foot. Slide it I'm like, will that, that way? work? I don't know if that'll work with the heels yeah, on. Yeah, it's tough with You the can heel. do that. But I just want to so even feel go. it to see how sturdy it is. Um, can you put it on, on, on an angle again? You bet. You're just going to, that's it. And this isn't going anywhere. No, it depends on the weight. You would right. want to balance it out, but Okay, yes. but if you put a small light or oh, yeah, of course. a microphone, LEDs, like mics, you said. Anything you want. And that's the beauty of this stand. It's not just a lighting stand, it's a media stand. And none of us make a living with one discipline anymore. No. Nope. We got to be producers, we got to be lighting engineers, we've got to be videographers. So that's where this stands fantastic. Absolutely. So we'll go up to the next level. You notice there's no connections here. No. There's no threads. Nothing. So with our product, we have six different heads. We have a 5.8 light stud, we've got a quarter 20, we've got a 3.8, we've got a 5.8 light mic, and they all attach with our proprietary IO Look system. Look at that. That snaps in so and easy. will not move and will not come out until you release the sleeve and then it's out. Oh wow, see I didn't get to do that the other night. So just drop that in. Nothing. Nothing, pull it and it's out. So simple. So let's talk about something that's hundreds of years old. The archaic design of putting a light on a stud and screwing this in. So with our product you leave that in, you do it once and now and how it. fast can you create your setups and lock it in? Amazing. And it's not going to move and it's not going to spin unless it's from a point you want it to spin. So that's releases <laughs> and that changes. <laughs> so obviously I could put a lot of things right there, but I'll go right to our coolest boom. This is called Orbit 2X. Go ahead. And the same way, I just drop that in. And now on a single boom, I've got two 360 degree ball joints allowing me to go up to any position, left and right, plus another swivel that gives me the ability to go that way. So think of lighting scenarios where I wanted to do a, a headshot. So yep. right there, I've got my main light, I've got my underflow light, my side light, but I can adjust it by inches, millimeters, whatever it needs, because that makes a big difference mm -hmm. in the lighting world. You know, I've got a bald head, so I'm going to move this a little bit that way, <laughs> so it's really easy. I can completely manipulate this stand into any position I'd like, and then when I'm done, pop it out. I can't get and over put this. it away. I can't tell you how many best boys and gaffers I know Correct. that would absolutely Correct. love this if they were in a production or working, like you said, in a photo studio. Correct. A and it simplifies life completely. This is why when we met you, Adam and I kind of went a little crazy. We were like, we need this. This is amazing. So there's so much more you can do because we even add more clamps. Mm -hmm. So I didn't bring my 35 millimeter, 
But um, let's say this is a lighting scenario with two LEDs and or a speed flash with umbrellas. Okay. And I'm doing a wedding photo. Right. And so I need a camera right there. So I'm going to go ahead and mount that. I'll take our OA ball head, drop that there, put that there. And oh, well, I got a camera. I got my GoPro. So I'm going to drop that there, lock that in. I can get that GoPro in any position. Wow. This could be any camera. I put a, a, a D3500 on it, anything I'd like. Um, I want that GoPro to be a little bit taller. Drop that there. And now the GoPro's there. So anything I want to do, I can do. And of course, I've got full 360 rotation with that as well. And with the weight of the stand, it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I can make my adjustments very quickly. But more importantly, our time is worth money. Yes. So if I can just sit down and break that down that fast, release that, clamp that, get the arms down, release that, and put it Done. away. And the stand breaks down to be um, less than two and a half feet high. Oh my goodness. Now it does weigh 20 pounds, right. but that's your benefit. But you're talking about there's no noise. So Correct. when you're in the middle of a shoot and this is something that you need to break down, you're not being noisy, you're not disrupting what's going on on scene. Correct. Um, you, like you said, super simple and quick, time is money. Well, even if you had to move this in real time yep. with a mic on it, it's, it's not a stainless disturbing. steel ball. Wow. It, it won't make a sound. Unbelievable. So, um, even though this was born for the music industry, yes, uh, uh, producers in the world are using it. It's the greatest drum kit mic, piano mic stand, any orchestra stand, anywhere you want. We had producers coming up to us by the next year saying, this is a better lighting stand than but we have in the market. Wow. So we very quickly created the connections to have that. By the way, it's also air-loaded shafts. <gasps> if you had a mistake, I can just drop it down and, and that so won't fall. So it's not fall. clinking you in the head. And no, or and I can't not, tell you how many C stands I've your camera down or anything you'd like. Wow. So Triad Orbit Advanced Stand Systems pretty much reinvented the mic stand, lighting stand to a media stand that connects to any device that you, that you need with our quick release IO connection. Now, um, we were talking about this the other day. What made Triad even think of doing something like this? We were all frustrated musicians. <laughs> you know, oh wow, so it wasn't even a production standpoint. No, it was, it was truly a mic stand in the beginning. Wow. And um, I spent my years as recording engineer setting up stages and you know, slamming your fingers and trying to get a stand and a mic in the right place. So the ability to add a ball joint to it and find a way to get that mic in the exact spot and then obviously that's just as important in video mm -hmm. and more important in lighting to be able to create the lighting scenarios that you want, especially still photographers. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our first photo show, and it's, it's really, really going quite well. Now, here's the question I always get. Uh -huh. I like your quick release. Yes. Can I adapt to my stands? Yes. Wow. We have our new IORL. This is a light stud adapter that you drop onto your current 5.8 light stud. There's four screws that hold it solidly in place and now you have our quick release to work with your current product. So yes, you can put this O2X on a C stand. Okay. While so we they want don't you have to buy to get our rid stands, of their own old equipment. They not, don't have to go crazy losing a bunch of money that Correct. they already put into their Correct. products. But this is a gateway drug. <laughs> Once someone starts using this yeah. and feels that you're quick gonna connect, want, you're going to want you're the, gonna want the rest. Kit. So Triad Orbit Advanced Stand Systems really will revolutionize the way you work in this industry. This is crazy. Okay, so then also, say I just wanted the stand or I wanted the whole kit. How does this work as far as cost? Everything is sold a la carte. It is. Because the systems could be anything you want it to be. And they're interchangeable. Exactly. The nice thing is once you buy one thing, it grows with the next and the next and the next. And you've really got a toy box, a tool box, right. let me say, full of product. So this is our T3. Again, this is an air-loaded 71-inch stand with the articulating legs. This uh, street price is 219 Okay. Uh, this is our larger boom. Again, this is a dual boom with interchangeable arms. It comes with four arms. Uh, this street price is 299 Then our connections are anywhere from $39 to $60. Uh, we even have a, a VESA mount 
with a ball joint that you can put on this stand. So if you're in a room like this, you can have your 32 inch monitor right there, roll it around because we have caster connections. Um, it's, it's really across the board a media device right. that once you start using, you can't live without it. Now, you talk about this being a boom, um, and I know an audio guy who would really benefit from some help. Sure. How far, what's the length, the tallest length that this can get well, to we that maybe can hold a boom mic? The single boom that I didn't bring just for too many devices. Yeah, that's okay. It goes to 37 inches. Okay. It holds four pounds at 37 inches out. And that will collapse down to 28 inches wow. as well. Um, this boom uh, also will go to 28 inches um, and again, Fully loaded, the ball joint holds four pounds. But if you release the arm, too much weight. If I release this arm, ah, how about that? <laughs> I release this arm, yep. uh, it'll hold 30 pounds. Oh, right there. Just from this. That's how much fulcrum uh, every changes everything. Okay. So this really it does release quick. I was in the wrong position. Oh, that's fine. Just drop it in oh and it's God. in place. I want to try this. So this isn't even that heavy. Well, it's heavier than most because it it's steel. Okay. And everything we do, even our clutches are steel. They're rubber coated steel. Uh, we're moving towards aluminum product is very, very soon. This one is all aluminum. To make it lighter. Correct. Okay. Because as much as everyone loves it and as much as everyone wants stability, they still want light. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we can't have everything in this world, but no. we're trying. <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go, and it only helps you guys more to sell more product Correct. and make it more um, more you know, versatile. Versatile, yeah. You know, the wedding photographers love it, but they don't want to lug it around. Mm. But the thing is, I laugh. They're carrying a lightweight stand, but they're carrying sandbags. Yes. So wait. <laughs> How about you don't carry the sandbags and you just carry the stand which has the correct ballast in the first place? I, I love that idea of uh, the fact that it could go against a stair. I've seen so many guys just trying to make it work wherever they are and they get frustrated and then it, it spills into everything else or the rest of the production. So it's kind of frustrating. Correct. But um, correct. this solves that problem. Correct. Well, it just speeds everything up because yes. there is a solution for almost anything you can think of with the way our product works. Amazing. And how old are you guys? Uh, we've been... We're a big company, a fairly large company. Mm. Uh, we've been in business for 30 years making other people's products. Wow. This is our first product we've released for ourselves under From the, the ODM. Up. And um, it took seven years to develop it. Wow. Uh, we've been on the market for three years now, and this is our first photography show. Awesome. So as photography grows for us, um, we think it's going to be a far larger market than the music industry, of course. And where can people find out about this? You can buy it at B&H. B&H. Um, they're our main dealer in photography. In the music industry, it's Sweetwater. Uh, it's Vintage King. Um, it's Full Compass. Okay. Um, it's, it's widely distributed. So a lot of music guys. Yep. And soon yep. to be movie sets. It's true because we had more production. time in that industry. Yes, exactly. Um, but currently, B&H is our uh, exclusive distributor. Awesome. I think it's going to change after Photo Plus Expo. Uh, we hope so. I think so. Right. Right. <laughs> I love the fact that this is actually compact, that you can carry a bunch of... Look, they're all fitting on that one chair. It you is. Know? It's, it's, you can carry it all it's together. It's a lot of tools. It's, it's, it's a lot of backpack. small product. Worth, it right? is, but you know what? Uh, it's a little heavy. It gets heavy. Uh, so we do make a wheeled bag for there it. There you go. And um, I carry this stuff around the country, and it, the wheeled bag was super solid. I fly with it. Awesome. It's, it's no problem. And, you know, again, I can break it down into a fairly small space. That's so great. All right, well, thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you so Good much. Good luck to you guys. I appreciate you guys it. check them out. Try it, Orbit. Um, we're here at Photo Plus Expo 2015, winding down from the awesome, awesome second day. I'm Andrew Fasano. This is Be Terrific. You guys stay right there. We'll be back with more.